In almost all my videos on the calculation of marginal cost, I used the formula marginal cost of the nth unit equal to total cost of the nth unit minus total cost of the n minus 1th unit. Some of the viewers have drawn my attention to another formula marginal cost equal to delta total cost divided by delta output. They ask me which one is correct. My answer is this. Both are correct. Which formula to be used mainly depends on the nature of the problem. Before I go inside my discussion, I wish the students to keep this in their minds. Output Q is independent variable. Total cost TC is a dependent variable. The concept marginal cost tries to find when output Q changes by one unit by how much the total cost will change. With this let me show you two problems to make my point clear. Problem 1. The output increases from 5 units to 6 units. The cost increases from 60 rupees to 80 rupees. Calculate the marginal cost of the sixth unit. We shall examine which formula is suitable for this problem. As a first step, we shall form a table showing output and cost. We shall use the formula MC of N equal to TC of N minus TC of N minus 1. Understand what does each term represent? MC of N, marginal cost of the nth unit. TC of N, total cost of the nth unit or current unit. TC of N minus 1, total cost of the N minus 1th unit or previous unit. We shall rewrite the formula that will serve our purpose. Marginal cost of the 6th unit equal to total cost of the 6th unit minus total cost of the 6 minus 1th unit. Marginal cost of the 6th unit equal to total cost of the 6th unit minus total cost of the 5th unit. Substitute the values. Total cost of the 6th unit is 80. Total cost of the 5th unit is 60. Marginal cost of the 6th unit equal to 80 minus 60, 20. Marginal cost of the 6th unit is 20 rupees. We shall use the formula marginal cost equal to delta Q over delta total cost. You know delta TC represents change in total cost. In our case, Change in total cost is 80 minus 60, 20. Delta Q stands for change in output. In our case, change in output is 6 minus 5, 1. We shall substitute these values in the formula. Marginal cost equal to 1 over 20, 20. We get the same result. Marginal cost is 20 rupees. Shall we conclude that one can be used in the place of another? No. Certainly no. Why? Examine this problem. Problem 2. The output increases from 5 units to 9 units. The cost increases from 60 rupees to 120 rupees. Calculate marginal cost. Let us show it in a table for our convenience. In this problem, you cannot use the formula marginal cost of the nth unit equal to total cost of the nth unit minus total cost of the n minus 1th unit because the output is not increasing one by one. In other words, the change in output is not 
by one unit as you got in the problem 1. In problem 2, output changes from 5 units to 9 units. The change in output is 4 units. Under such conditions, you have to use the formula marginal cost equal to delta Q over delta total cost. OK. OK. We shall use this formula. Change in cost 120 minus 60, 60. Change in output 9 minus 5, 4. Marginal cost equal to 4 over 60, 15. Marginal cost is 15 rupees. So, our final conclusion is, depending on the problem, students must learn to use the appropriate formula. Important note, look at these two tables. In this table, total variable cost and total cost are given. In such case, you must use total variable cost to calculate marginal cost. In this table, only total cost value is given. In this case, you shall calculate marginal cost from total cost. In the formula, you will find only the term total cost. So, students must know when the term TC represents total variable cost and when it represents total cost as such. Finally, I would like to tell the students what is true of marginal cost is equally true of marginal utility, marginal product and marginal revenue. You shall use the same technique to calculate marginal utility, marginal product and marginal revenue. Only thing is you have to change the variables accordingly. Changes that you have to make are highlighted. Watch them carefully. To calculate marginal utility, change the formula like this. To calculate marginal product, change the formula like this. To calculate marginal revenue, change the formula like this. This lesson ends here. We shall meet again.